station of TFNN. The Bull Bear Nadex Options Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Bull Bear, Nadex Options Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 440. You get the Nasdaq off 177. S&P's down 53. Last night, you had uh, Asia down 2.5% to 3%. We get Europe down 1.5% to 2%. We are down 1.5% uh to uh, two and two point four percent inside the nasdaq big number totally nasty numbers man gold contract gold contract up fifteen dollars trading at twelve thirty nine we have silver up twenty cents fourteen dollars seventy nine cents notes and bonds still the story man notes have been saying it bonds have been saying it for quite some time notes are up 18 ticks 118 18 30 a bond up a full point it's plus seven ticks 139.01 uh, in spite of the Fed uh, wanting, well, in spite of the Fed going up in short-term rates, the, the market's been buying notes and bonds. Uh, you're breaking higher today, and you have volume behind the move. Now, the divergence is King Dollar. King Dollar is still staying at highs. It's down 29 ticks, but over its highs the last couple of days. But that is kind of interesting, real interesting to me, because of the gold market. Uh, it hasn't given it up yet, as gold is it doing an ABC structure on the way up. We get the euro down. Uh, the euro uh, down five ticks, trading 114.16. The the yen is at 112.02. And uh, bottom line, let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade, from the one of the programs he does, Fast Market. And you know, as we said, Tom, when he first started it. They started at the perfect time. We better get to them. This market's going to be down 3% before okay. it's accelerating, man. You, man. No doubt. And listen, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, right on your cell phone, just go to TFNN, go to YouTube, go to TFNN. Great program. And anything and everything you want to know, options, option strategies, futures. And in this type of market, folks, you better have defined risk. Because if you don't have defined risk, guess what? You're in trouble. Kevin Hinks, we got a lot of red. They went to Sherman Williams and they bought red this morning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, you know, this is an interesting market. It's pretty fascinating today. You know, this is a market really that started off on the downside because of Asia and Europe and the foreign markets, right? And now it's trying to find its way here with Tom. I, I, you know, we had five Dow companies come out with earnings. Yes. And 3M. That is a legitimate miss and, a, and, and should be sold off. And McDonald's is a good win. Uh, but Caterpillar is the one I think that's fascinating today. And show me, I dare someone to show me bad news on the Caterpillar earnings release. And yet they are hitting it hard today. And, and that is a pretty uh, indicative of what kind of a market we're in. They are, based on the foreign markets being down, based on our futures are down, you know, you've got to really have unbelievable news now to, to stay anywhere near, you know, not being under pressure. Yeah, you know, and I think, Kevin, the, the way I'm looking at it, I think we, we talked about this before when the banks actually came out with their numbers. I mean, think, think about it. J.P. Morgan had amazing numbers, and they sold it off. It's like, okay, right. man, if you sell J.P. Morgan off, right, this is, this, this, we got little problems in paradise. And, and what has happened in the last week is that, and this is unusual in my perspective, because normally what happens that I've seen in down markets is that the financials normally fall apart last. But they basically have been leading us lower. The XLF, you know, yep. is like saying that, hey, man, these bonds want to go higher, you know, because fundamentally, exactly. of course, you know, you know, if that spread opens up, they should be, well, they, we know that they made a fortune. They more, made more than they ever made, and they still sold them down, right. you know, so. Exactly, and Tom, you, you know, you're talking about a 3.12 10-year yield right now. I know. So spiking yields aren't here, you know, right. and so, you, you know, here's, here's the positive. If you want me to try to put a positive spin on today, I'll, I'll do that right now. You got five Fed speakers today. Yep. One of them should start to address what Jay Powell said, what, a week or ten days ago. With, with uh, rate, you know, rates not, not being even close right. to neutral. Someone should address that. Right? So, and here's the other thing. Now it's announced Trump and Xi Jinping are going to meet 
at the next G G20. Maybe you've got a little something on the horizon with a, a, a decrease in tensions between the U.S. and China in terms of trade. Those are the things you can look. Besides that, I see this as a healthy correction in a healthy market that traders should be patient and looking for entry points here. No, listen, I, I agree. I think it's going to be a monster high-end consolidation. Now, my take is, though, the, the bottom of this consolidation is down at that 2532. Um, which is, you know, a lot lower, but that's at February low. But when I look back, it, it, to me, it makes sense because what you have on, on a longer-term basis, you know, we were in that consolidation from 2014, you know, from 2075, and then we broke topside. You know, we were in that for a full year. Well, we went up dramatically. There's nothing, I mean, I don't think that's a big deal. It is a big deal, of course, if you're long up with these numbers and, you know, it seems that, yeah, we get down there and then people will think that it's really a disaster and that'll be the low and guess what? You know, you, you get a monster 400-point consolidation in the S&P, which for a trader, right. folks, okay, that's heaven, man. It's a big one. It's a big one, you know? And Right. Go ahead, Tommy. Well, it's it just that, you know, we when you haven't corrected this long, I try to explain to people a normal correction after a streak is basically 50%. You know, but the streak has been so big that when you start talking about a 50%, it's like, oh, no, don't do that to me. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it is what it is. And then, you know, you, you basically got to protect yourself. And that's, what, that's what's so great about options. I mean, that's, that's the reality. And that's, that's right. when I think this comes home to base that, you know, people, you know, you don't have to put up thousands of dollars to basically stay long stocks, you know? You know, th this is a market where people should be looking at some of these stocks, going off corporate earnings and guidance and look at, I mean, look at McDonald's. Look at the numbers that McDonald's put up. Over 5% same store sales in comps. Yep. That's a big number for something as big as, you know, that that, that has the scale of a McDonald's. Sure. To, to, to have same store sales of 5 plus percent, that's monstrous, you know. With the scale that they, that, that they can put up, that's a huge beat by McDonald's. It is. And, and so I, I, I still think, you know, you, you could talk about 2019 and 2020, about a an economy topping off and slowing down. But I, I just don't see it yet. That, that That's the problem I'm struggling with. I, I don't see this market topping off yet. I mean, these are, corporate earnings are strong. The forward-looking numbers are strong. You've got 10-year yields that started to sell off when they spiked that have now backed off down to 312. I think this is just a great, great trading opportunity. No, no, I agree. I don't think, see, I don't think there's a correlation that the economy is not going to go forward versus the market. Because I remember in 1994, folks, what ended up happening is that from 92 almost up to actually 90, yeah, up to 94, the market went straight up. And because it went so straight up, the market only pulled back about 12%, and people were really hurting and thought it was old, right, because they'd never go down. And then from 94 to 2000, it took off like a rocket ship again. I mean, you know, because right. the economy didn't stop. But guess what? It, it has to do with how far and how fast we're going. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you want to understand option, option strategies, future, fast market, Kevin Hanks. Tom White, great team. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to showing 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Stay Kevin. right there, folks. Love Tommy and I are coming. Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Oil, Each Monday, this. you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. 
in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on buildable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per buildable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is off uh, 540. You get the Nasdaq off 206. S&P's down 63. Uh, big numbers out here. Bottom line right across, uh, right across the board. Let's take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities here. Then we're going to go on to we get oil out here today. We do. Big right. action in oil to the downside already. So let's take a look at uh, boy, the only the uh, well, there we go. T look at this. Oh, Tesla's up $12. Tesla's up $12 out of the and Verizon's up $1.45. Can we? Let's click. I saw, I saw a couple headlines for Tesla this morning. So Citron says long on the company this quarter. It says, uh, it says I, a report that it's long Tesla. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's the, one of the biggest shot sellers out there. Yes. Yeah. Pretty wild. I wonder, I thought I had saw, um, seen another, did he tweet something else? I saw some headline out there. Seems and you, like there's always. But and I, you get Verizon, Verizon, the VZ, they, they come up with numbers, I believe. So Verizon's up a buck 51 in a bad market. Uh, and you get volume behind the move. Well, that's interesting. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> they even say that Mrs. Lois extra. Uh, well, hold where you am. Capital expenditures view Miss Low lowest estimate. Let's just go right here, right? So earnings um, EBITDA 12.18 versus 12.15. Uh, let's see. They were down on revenue. 515,000 wireless retail postpaid net additions. They like it, yeah. whatever's going on. No, they do. They, they like it. I'm sure there's no a lot doubt. of numbers in there. Okay, let's go over to the oil market and see what we got because there's no doubt, folks, that oil's down a buck 87 right now. Yeah, quite a number. So we're looking at the December contract. This is a five minute chart we're looking at. So just even going back till about seven o'clock last night. We're down more than $2 from that level. We were just up at $69.50. Market straightened at about $67.50. So jumping into some of the contracts here, we'll start it off with the 11 AMs. And I'm just going to have to actually, I'm going to refresh this to get the noons up here real quick. Because I've had this Nadex platform up there for a few hours. Yeah, it's an early bird gets the warm day. It is, man. There's no the doubt. Market's negative right from the get-go, right? Yeah, totally. OK. So jumping back, we'll blow that up. We're going to go into commodity spreads. We're going to go into our crude oil. And we can start things off with the 11 a.m. So the underlying contract, which is the December crude oil contract, trading at about 67.50. Um, now the 11 a.m.s, 
what's nice here is that they have Look one of the that. spreads where they're going to line up right at 67.50. Okay, so we're trading five pennies above this level. So here's your bullish spread going from 67.50 to 69. You're paying about three to five pennies right now of intrinsic value. It's going to cost you $15 to the upside. And the bearish spread, which is out of the money, costs you a little bit cheaper. So $28 for both legs of that, which gives you that half hour from 10.30 to 11. We get the EIA numbers. That's not bad for the volatility we already had this morning. It's not. And you're pretty much right next to it. You can see it's yeah. oscillating. Now we're actually $3 underneath. So this, the bearish spread now at the intrinsic um, value, and then the bullish side costs you the cheaper expensive. So again, $28. Jump into the noons. Let's see how these line up. And it's going to be slightly different. So you have 67.25, okay. which is a point that you could use for bullish and bearish exposure. The problem, if you're just looking for volatility on that, is that you're going to have 27 cents or $27. You can see the bullish spread alone has cost you $34, yep. right? And that's a, basically because this becomes a, a bullish bias, yes. where you have that much intrinsic yes. value on one side or the other. And maybe that's what you like. You know, Maybe you want, you think that after being down so much within the last you know, 12 hours even, that oil could get a pop. But let's just jump around to some of the dailies and see how they line up. So the 8 till 230s, you could use 68. Again, slightly away, though, 50 cents from where we're trading. And what happens, though, you go to the daily, and there we go, 67.50. Oh, nice. All right, so let's see how these line up. 67.50, this is a $5 spread. Yes. The bullish spread, basically all premium, costs you $28. Yeah. And then, oh, you know what's happening, though? Oh, we don't have side. a bearish spread, okay, right. because they do line up like that. And that's okay. where we've gotten such a big move right. that oil was trading at about $70 when these got set yes. yesterday, and 67.50 just happens to line up. Um, so, so you're dealing with an 11 o'clock, really? Yeah, if you're just trading for pure volatility, you'd be looking at the 11 a.m.s because you're paying no intrinsic value and you have basically exposure as we're trading literally to the tick right now at 67.50. So you got about $14 to the upside, $14 to the downside to recap it again as this just kind of oscillates right around that 67.50, yeah. give or take. So we'll see what happens. We have the numbers in about seven minutes. Should be, uh, should be interesting. A lot oh. of action. Oil, a lot of action. Gold this morning, right? Yeah, you get gold. You know, if we get... Uh the gold, well, we'll find out we'll get another 100,000 contracts. Gold's breaking a B point. We'll see uh, if we get the volume come in. Um, you can do 100,000 contracts real easy from now until um, this afternoon. Quite it's, a number, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's a big number. We go take a look at the, uh, that's, I'm going to get into these high, oh, well, actually. So Caterpillar, you know, when we take a look at Caterpillar, what you're going to see out here, when I was bringing this up last night uh, on the show in the, uh, at 3 o'clock this afternoon, it's like, what was sticking out like a sore thumb is what it's going after. 105. Uh, you're at 115 right now. That thing, you know, bottom line, well, this one right here is not bad either. That, that's, that's the first one it hit. You know, you get these volume spikes out here. It was 114.90. You got 115.82. It seems like those might be earnings. You went right from April to July to coming into October, right? Yeah. You know, April, right. July, every three months. Right. Um, and, you know, if we took this on a monthly, I think what you're going to see is a much larger structure. Yeah, this is, a, this is a problem, man. This is, that could be 173 to 130. You're talking, Excuse what, 43 me. points would get you into, like, uh, We're already what, there. Once, oh, yeah. 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 That's been that, quite a downdraft this month. That's, that's, a, that's an ABC for Stone. You know, uh, danger is going to be, oh, see, this is... Okay, so this is dangerous because under 116.55, once, yeah, under 116, what's this one here? That's 111. Okay, so it's 116 to 111 <coughs> get you in that lower range. Yeah, and right there. And it's like, why? Yeah. You know, well, because guess what? They're selling it off. What you have happening here, too, folks, you remember, um, well, let's go to our man, Paul in Henderson, Nevada. Hey, Paul, what's going on, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Paul. What's happening? You, you growling and prowling out here? <laughs> oh, man. Today's one of those days, you know, you need extra caffeine because there's so much stuff moving. <laughs> you know, you got to be sharp. There is, man. <laughs> there's no <laughs> doubt. It's a, it's a fast market. No doubt, man. Yeah, you guys were talking about CAT. We had some good shorts today on uh, Logitech, CAT, and Triple M. Yeah. But, yeah, my question, those trades are on cruise control right now. My question is about the SPY. And Tom, if you is this going to be a confirmed uh, ABC down? Take us into those April swing points. 
Well, this is what ends up happening, and, and this is where it's, it's going to be tough to do because you're going to need some monster volume. The volume we're going to need is uh, 274 million in the SPY, and we're 34 right now. Now, that's saying it can do it. That's easy. I mean, we're not even an hour. Right? What are we? Uh, well, you know, we're, just an hour, we're just an hour into it. So, the, you know, and what happens in the trading day, folks, you get 6.5 hours. So the way we're trading right now is that, yes, it can. Um, if you're trading the S&P, the way I trade this S&P, yeah, you stay right there. We'll, we'll oh, talk to you. We'll do. You're leaving some good stuff. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be selling it right now and just keeping a tight stop, you know, because I don't think, you know, everyone's looking for a bounce, man. This, we're breaking down, and um, these money managers are going out of their mind because they just lost uh, basically all their gains for the year today. Stay right there, folks. Paul, Tommy, myself will come right back with oil, too. Jason Path has just launched his weekly newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, available only at TFNN.com. Right now, you can sign up for Jason's outstanding weekly report, including midweek updates whenever warranted, with a 30-day money-back guarantee included, so you have nothing to risk. Jason develops his trade recommendations by creating an ensemble of predictive and mathematical models trained on data by leveraging a variety of techniques, including market-based computer simulations. Jason then combines these sophisticated predictive and analytical models with deeply researched macro outlooks to identify opportunities in a number of different markets for traders to act on. Whether you're looking to trade futures, equities, commodities like crude oil and gold, forex, or cryptos, Jason covers it all. Sign up for Jason Paff's weekly trading newsletter right now by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the quantitative edge under the newsletters tab. TFNN.com, educating investors. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we have the Dow down 475, NASDAQ off 179, S&P's down 56, and we were ahead of ourselves by a day, folks. That's why those uh, contracts were so inexpensive, actually, on the gold. A lot going on, on the market. It seems on, like it's Wednesday on the already, oil market. but it's actually, yeah, it's actually totally. Tuesday, so we'll totally. go tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> so on the S&P's, Paul, right? So yeah. if, if we bring the E-mini up here and take a look at it, I'm going to put this just on a two days so you can kind of see it clearer one day i'll put it on a one day so what we have out here now we're looking folks is you're looking at 10 minute bars and 
you know, my take is that we're just going to keep going south. You got a little bounce here. But I would give it nothing. When, when you trade like this, you don't have to give it a lot. And what I normally do is this. See what, with a, where it broke down from this morning at 27.15 to 26.99? What I do is I take the low that was before that and tuck a stop right at that. In this case, that would be 27.08. Um, and so I put this like stop at 27.09 yeah. or something. You're looking at that 9.20 a.m. 10-minute yeah. bar. Right. And just putting it right above the, right. the low of that. Yeah. Right. And then if you break down again, let's say, let's say two hours from now that we're below the lows, right, of 26.92, then mm -hmm. I would tuck it up into the bar that was out there at 10 o'clock this morning, which is 26.99. And I just keep I doing that all day long. Because, you know, on a day like today, you don't know how far this can actually go. And, you know, we've already broken the swing. And, you know, bottom line is that there's no reason you can't go a lot lower. Well, you know? those days in February where all of a sudden it just came out of nowhere, we were dropping literally hundreds of points within a couple 15-minute bars, and it went from negative 400 to, like, negative 1,000. That's, period of just, uh, yeah, some of those so afternoon so things fast. really... It was amazing. That, well, that's, that's how markets... When you get a swish, that's that's what does happen. That's 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 my point of not in a market like this. I don't close out a trade. I get stopped out on purpose because if it keeps going, then you 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 do much better than you ever do just even with the price projections. That's what it really comes down to. And if you get stopped, you get stopped. Big deal. Do you know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah. Hey, Tom, I got one last question. Yesterday you were talking about um, a new equity that was somehow, uh, I was really busy when I was listening, but um, somehow it's, it's tied in with uh, Canopy. Um, uh, it was going to start trading today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That right? Yeah. That's um, Elphir. That's, uh, it's not tied in with, uh, that's, uh, hey, let me pull it up. RV. And the, yeah, this is, oh, this, this poor, this poor equity, this is the first day it's trading on the NYSE. Um, okay. So. Aurora. Yeah, but here, A ACB, okay, so this is on the NYSE today. Let's see this. Yeah. ACB, there it is. It just, it's that, it's on the New York Stock Exchange today, just previewed. <laughs> so. It's a tough preview day. It is. And the, and the cannabis stocks are killed yesterday, so there, there it is. Um, you know, bottom line, just let this go lower, man. I think these, these are going to come back in and get some good buys, and then you're going to have a monster consolidation. That's the way I'm looking at it. Well, it bounced right off that swing point. CGC um, this morning had a nice run up, but it looks like it's going to uh, break that out at some point, probably even today. Now, which one we talk the one I just gave you? Uh, no, we're talking about Canopy. This morning oh, it canopy, had a right. nice no, canopy. bounce right off that swing point, but it looks like it's going to give it up. No, I, yeah, my take is it's going to go to 24 bucks, man. And you're at 38. 24 yeah. bucks gets you right back to the breakout area. Now, the cool thing is, folks, I know that's disgusting, but the cool thing, we actually look at that. If that's where we go with light volume, then you get a monster consolidation because we get a high volume high at 59. And so you're at 24. It's like, hey, these are going to be, these are going to be good stocks to trade, man. If that's what we get, that's what it comes down to, you know. Yeah, it's going to be a fun day. I'll, I'll look out for that uh, IPO when it opens up, and we'll see how this shakes out. Well, the Paul, no, Paul, for, that's, uh, not, that's not an IPO. This is what this is. They had been trading, they've been trading up in Canada, okay? Now okay. they're on the NYSE also. So all the Canadian stocks always want to get on the American exchanges because they have so many more buyers. That's, that's what ends up happening. So I got you. That, that is a good thing, okay? That, but that's, that's what you have happening there. So you can trade it right now, but don't trade it right now because it wants to go lower. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching it, though. But, hey, we'll watch this spy, too, and this TVIC, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be an interesting day. It is. It's, it's down and dirty, man, no doubt. And, uh, hey, it is what it is. And you're going to have volume in, the, in these equities, man. You know, when we take a look at the, the, the Dow Industrials, you know, you get, you get the break in the Dow. You know, the, you've already broken the, the swing low out here of 24,899, 100 points below it. It's like, okay, man, well, you know, there's nothing stopping us to, from getting, you know, a little bit lower, you know, today. I, it looks to me like the, 
you, you're not only going to go lower, but I think we're going to come in with another gap too, which is really going to be dangerous. You know, because the way that the 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 way that the S and P opened was just deviant enough for the bears or the bulls, because it opened, folks. When it, when if we look at the spy, the spy opened right at the you know 270. It opened at 270.95. That swing low was 270.36. So that can give hope to the. More hope to the bulls, because when I saw it, I said, oh, man, is it going to just test that? And, and then I could see that, okay, you know, I, w I start looking at the other sectors, and the banking sector is breaking, and the energy is breaking. So I'm going, if you get two, those are two large, largest sectors in the S&P, and this is about weighting structure. So if those are going, the S&P is going to have a lot harder time holding price, you know, because that's where I kind of went from the S&P in general, to a couple of those uh, sectors that are very large inside the S&P that run, you know, that run business. That's, that's what it comes down to, man. Paul, are you still trading the cryptos? What's going on in the crypto spectrum right now? Man, it has to be on hold. I got shaken baked way too many times um, thinking that we were going to get moving again. And now it's just sitting around doing nothing. So... I have to wait until we get some sort of real breakout. Uh, I thought we were going to get it on Ripple. Ripple's still holding at 44 cents because it did have that nice pattern, but it seems like there's just no money coming into this sector. And with that whole tether um, situation going on, where I had suspected the huge run up from 5,000 to 20,000, after I started doing more research about it, that there was some sort of scam behind tether. Yeah. And it looks like that's kind of unfolding, that they were just pumping you know pumping it with fake money all the way up that's pretty amazing man it is you know and it tether was the one folks that it was trading dollar for dollar yeah. and it broke that what last week paul right that broke the dollar last week yes yeah yep yeah and now there's i don't a even know how they get away with that they man. call them stable currencies um stable coins so stable coins to stay, sure. it's connected to the dollar it's supposed to be one dollar all the time yes so if you're day trading it you could switch over to the stable coin uh, overnight because you know how volatile these coins can be sure and uh, you come back in the morning and you, or whenever you're trading and you get back to your trading so gemini is trying to get the gemini dollar and all these other people are trying to get you know their version of a stable coin so we'll see it's, it's only complex. stable if it's ever backed right that's what tether said it was backed right. but then they never showed the receipts for it right and guess what turns out it might not be backed surprise surprise yeah, yeah. cooking brother Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Have a great one. Have a great one, man. Stay right there, folks. Tell me I come right back. You get the Dow off 500. Nasdaq's down 187. S&P's are down 60. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Mark in Bedford. What's going on, brother? Not much. How are you guys doing? Morning, Mark. Doing great, man. So, hey, what's the what's the weather well, like up there? Well, it's a beautiful. Welcome to Volatile Tuesday, right? Uh, yes, welcome to Volatile Tuesday. That's for sure. I heard it's cold. I heard yesterday. Uh, the weather up here, it's cloudy and uh, cool. It's in the 40s. 40s. In the 40s. Okay. I heard it was 33 yesterday morning. So really? I know. Oh really. my God. Yeah, it's uh, fall is coming. All the trees are turning. The leaves are falling. So. Uh, okay. Tis the season, I guess. Tis the season, about time, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we, I know you were talking to Paul in the last call about the, um, the SPY, but I had a question for you guys. Is this market just deviant enough, deviant enough that it could turn around at that 230 or 3 and go and, and erase a lot of, if not all of this gain, uh, loss and go back up? Sure. And that's what the bulls are, you know, waiting for. Yeah. Okay, because the way the way you painted it, Tom, I, I said to myself, well, gee, it doesn't sound like there'll be any balance. But one of the things you've always taught me, Tom, is this market is energy. And if, it, if you have all this energy comes forcing it down, there's got to be uh, Einstein's equal, well, what's Einstein's theory of relativity? you you got to have the opposite reaction at some point. Equal time, and opposite so, reaction, yeah. sure. Well, what you want yeah, exactly. to what you want to keep what you, you want to keep an eye on for the next few hours, right? And the way to do this, folks, you can go over to Yahoo and do this. Or it's on your platform. You want to keep an eye on Europe, okay? Europe hasn't bounced at all, and if Europe doesn't bounce, the probability is pretty good that we're going to stay down. And where my head's going is that because we've been in such a market for so long that every bounce, you know, has been bought and the bulls have made money, you know. Your probability goes a lot higher that, you know, we're in, we're in a different deal. And it is remarkable. We got the year to dates up there, right? You're, you're literally at, at barely any ticks now in the Dow. You're talking about year to date, up 0.1%, um, S&P 0.4, and the NASDAQ, which has been a leader in so many ways, you yeah. know, the likes. It's still positive, but pretty remarkable. We're at the end of October, and the market's now basically flat. Outside that's, of the that's Nasdaq, wild, man. yeah, and when you look at, I mean, the Nasdaq, talk about an outlier. I mean, we have we have Europe up here, Mark. You know, we have Asia. I mean, you're talking about big numbers on a yearly basis coming into the end of October. Double digits all across Europe. Down. Yes, double down. digits down. Double right. digits all across um, right. Asia as well, and and we've just given back a tremendous amount of those gains, and and we'll see if the Nasdaq can hold in uh, on a day that the Nasdaq's down 2.4 percent already. And it's it's a one world market, man. People don't, you know. I mean, I don't know. Some people understand that, other people don't. But that's money. The money is so large these days, you know, that it goes all over the borders like in about two seconds, you know. So well, not only, not only that, Tom, but the, a lot of people think the market is from nine thirty to four. But I mean, I do a lot of my tr sure. uh, buying and selling pre pre and post market, and that's one of the things that that you've always said too. You know, don't. Don't count this market as pre and post. It's um, it's a lot of money to be made and, and lost. Um, you know, pre and post market. Oh, we you saw know, the you get those Nasdaq numbers that come out of 405, and you know those those Nasdaq stocks go up five, ten, ten bucks. And, 
you know, hold it down five or ten bucks sometimes, you know. Right. Now, you know, it, what to do is also keep your, your eye on the bonds, because the, the bonds have been telling us for a long time, right, that people are buying them, okay? And we know that the Fed's going up, and that's counterintuitive. And I've always learned, and when I first started trading, you know, we used to trade just off ticks, because it used to be so basically correlated that if the 30-year bond would be going up one or two ticks, the market would react to that. Now, that's changed over the course of years, but what hasn't changed is that when bonds are going up, bottom line market normally is either flat or having a problem. And, and the other one would be, uh, okay, what's the ut u utility? Uh, we brought this up yesterday. The utility ETF. Uh, can someone give me that utility ETF in the, in the den? I forgot the symbol. But where do you see this? The utility ETF, folks, okay, is almost at all-time highs. That makes absolutely zero sense because the, thank you, Basil, appreciate it, man. XLU, when you see this, this is a mind blower, folks, okay? Utilities at, uh, the XLU is at 54.18. Uh, now, inside of this, these are all the, 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 the power companies, right? People do not buy power companies when the market's going up. People buy power companies for the interest rate structure, and we're at highs. So it's like, okay, man, it's just not the bond market. Well, we're right. It's not the bond market. You know what I'm saying? It's like people are worried that they just want an interest rate to get their money back versus making money. And, you know, when you do that, bottom line is that um, your probability just goes higher that, you know, there's less money that's going in the marketplace, more money that's saying, okay, just give me my money back, which totally makes sense, by the way, you know. Yeah, you we've know. gone up tremendously So since. I have another question for you. Yes. If bonds continue to go up, how will that affect interest rates? Will that, uh, interest rates on mortgages is what I'm thinking. They'll go down. They start to They've gone down dramatically they already. Yeah, they go down. Yeah. And that's what it looks All like right. is going to happen. You know, what would end up happening is just, just as when Kevin Hanks was on, you hear everybody saying about the Fed, that there's going to be eight Fed speakers this week, evidently, okay? Yeah. And they, you know, they won't do it yet, but if this market keeps going south, they will reverse course and they'll let people know ASAP, well, okay, we're going to back off the rates. They have to back off the rates because the bottom line, they can't crash the market. You know, that's, <laughs> they're, 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 for the amount of work that they already did, and bringing everything back, they're not going to crash the market, you know. They'll ease it down, you know. And, it, and when I say ease it down, my, you know what my take is, where uh, that February 9th low, man, you know, we can bring up stock after stock. There's a lot of them there. I think the s and is going there, and that's still another 150 points lower. But guess what? That's, that sounded saying, outrageous. Hey, Tommy, uh, Tom, Tom Lowy was saying the same thing on, on his show this morning, too. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it, yeah. it's, and, it, you know, the, the cool thing, you see, to me, the cool thing there, that would just be a monster consolidation. But if you have a 400-point consolidation, we stay there in that for a year, market gets used to it, and then we go from there. And, hey, you might not have to wait too long, Mark. We're up uh, 115 points off the low maybe since even you just called. So Dow's only 384 now. Right. We're down 500 pretty close, right. S&P. So we're getting a little bit uh, of a bounce. There's that energy, right, Tom? We'll you see know, what happens. Yeah, the, the, uh, you come down with all that energy and something has to give. All right, guys. Hey, um, you know, I may be coming down in, to, uh, to Florida in uh, January or February. If, I'll let you know if I do. If I do, I'll poke my nose and say hello. Oh, Perfect. you got to come visit us. That's a beautiful time you to get, be down here. And we, you should see, we're in a beautiful place in St. Pete. We're right downtown St. Pete, man. Overlooking the water. Well, Forget it, man. I, I would love to see your new office. So, uh, yeah. I'm hoping to come. I'm hoping to come down there in January and February. Probably, probably more February than January. But I'll let you know before. That's, That's a beautiful good. month to be here, right, man. guys. We want all the tourists down here. We want all that tourist money. Get it down here. We want it down here quick. <laughs> <laughs> Happy trading. Ah, uh, you too, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. <laughs> you too, Tom. Thanks. Bye -bye. So, hey, get out and vote too, folks. We started early voting started yesterday in. Um, yeah, Florida. in Florida. I believe it started in Massachusetts as well Good. Um, yesterday. Good. Yeah. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 390. You get the Nasdaq down 162. S&Ps are off 48. You got gold up 10. Notes and bonds, 10 year note up 16. Ticks, 30 year bond up one full point and three ticks. Coming right back, folks.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And, you know, folks, uh, MM Jason Path, he kicks us off every trading day, 8.30 in the morning, has a great newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, and he is going to be doing a great workshop for all his subscribers, including everyone that's out here, on October 25th, this coming Thursday. And um, it's real easy to get into. Just go to TFNN, go into the featured content. Uh, you're going to see The Quantitative Edge. And walk us through it. Yeah. So he's going to be in there two days from today, Thursday. He'll be in there for an hour from 5 till 6, talking about quant trading strategies for up and down markets. So he's going to talk about how he selects markets to trade. And then the main event of the webinar will be step-by-step walkthrough of the different types of quant trading strategies, like relative cool. value. I can't wait for it. I don't it even yet. know what th that... We're all going to find exactly, out. Exactly, which is awesome. Systematic global macro, CTA, and um, yeah, so just how, you know ways to build trades in any type of market condition. Uh, Jason loves data. He loves his quantitative Huge. analysis. Uh, I'm a numbers guy as well. I like that type of stuff. And so I'm looking forward to it, man. That'll be Thursday night at 5 o'clock. And you can subscribe to the quantitative edge right now, whether it's a month, six months, a year. And Jason puts out his newsletter weekly one Mondays. And then he has updates that come out through throughout the week to manage the trades and so forth. Fabulous newsletter. Comes with a third day money back guarantee. Totally. And then we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. So this is first Jason's on this Thursday. That's right. And then a week from today, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We're going to ride this wave, folks. That's right. You click on newsletters, you go over to the opening call, and you'll see Basil is going to have a webinar a week from tonight. And it will be the Chapman Wave tools that helped identify 
identify the market's last top and what to expect as we go into the new year. Pretty the remarkable. Year. I know. I was just going to say. So that'll be a 90-minute workshop a week from today, Tuesday the 30th. And he will be talking about a number of points. We got them listed all there right in the opening call. You can check that out as well. And again, same deal. Six-month pricing, yearly pricing, 30-day money-back guarantee. I encourage people to check both of those out. Jason Thursday, Basil Tuesday. Got to love it. Stay right there, folks. We've got Fast Market coming up. And then, of course, we got our man Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.